Today we will be making a car with key binded ELS. I was going to upload one of these for a long time now and I'm just now getting around to it. So I'm going to have this model that I'm going to be using to start us off in the description below as a free model. Um, it'll come in handy especially once you get around to making multiple cars at once. Um, has pickup and siren control which you just want to cut and you want to go up your, your drive seat which these two are already in here sometimes they can be wrong I just make sure to put in the proper ones um then I can close all this up don't need it then you can put a light bar right here and two body once you have that in drop this down these two lights can go they're just there to show you um what kind of lights you would want and then you would want to place your middle your middle box is where the sound comes out of so let's get that I usually put it right here in the front of the car just so it faces the right way if you have like a speaker on your car or like you put it on your car or something you could put it right in front of that to make it realistic I usually just put it like right there in the engine bay area um, actually let's make sure it's facing forward the way you best way to face make sure it's facing forward is go down here to properties and surface you go right here to the front surface. If that's highlighted and it doesn't look like this over here or whichever way you want it to face, you're good. So that's good. I can place that right back. All right. So I'm just gonna be be doing a basic grill light today to save time. So I'm going to get a grill light out here. Just look up Talon. It's a small grill light. Or not a grill light. Dash light. Sorry. Uh, wheelin tal talon duel that's big so size it down a bit then we can put it in place if you can't put it in the car it's usually because you have either these three on I usually just keep them off just so it doesn't get on my nerves and whatnot um, that seems about good. Um, I usually make this smooth plastic so I can actually see inside. Make this black so it doesn't look hideous. And then you can see inside properly. Then, if you take a block out here, place it. I usually do it at the front so I can see where I'm placing it. Like so. And you can size it. Like so. size it down here a bit and we're good should be hang on a little bit more up here there we go sorry if you hear the car out in the background uh, uh noisy neighbors anyways um then you would you can easily just con control d on your thing and then it'll you can duplicate it and move it over so then you want to make sure they're whatever color you want. I usually go with medium blue. Then you would go want to go down here neon. Make it sure it's neon. You always want to make sure it's also anchored. If you don't make sure it's anchored, it'll just fall on the ground or fall through the map. You don't want that. Then we can name this dash one or whatever you want it to be. Dash two. You just gotta make sure you remember them. Then you can drag it up here into light bar. So once you have it there, you can go here. I usually name these dash one two. Once you have that named, you go double click into the script. This right here needs to be dash one. This should be dash two. two. Alright, and then you can just copy this, paste it here, paste it here. That should be this one here. Whatever it's like below the L's right here, it should always be 111 or 11 one, all the way down for the transparency. That's just so whenever the lights are off, they don't have things on, unless you want that, of course. If they're off, then you can have something on. Um, then I want this to be zero, this to be one. So basically, this dash one 
is this light right here. So when it's zero, that will flash. But whenever it's one, this will be just invisible, I guess you can say, for a lack of a better term. Um, then you would want to alternate it so they flash back and forth. Right here, this is how you can make sure what time you want. You go through and change that. See if I say, say if I do it for point 0.1 right now, and then I go into run. If I go run, and then you'll see it go back and forth. See? And then once you have that, right, that's how fast point 0.1 is. Or you can make it go a little slower and do like. 0.5, which is half a second, which goes do 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 and that kind of thing. Make it go slower depending on however fast you want it to. Let's see, like so. Oop. Let me show you how to put this actually in the body, so it doesn't float around, of course. So let's take the wheel and talon. I'm gonna put in body, and then you want to do Control G. And then you want to name it exterior. So then you have this whole group for whatever you want to put in. So you could put Rambar on, put it in here. Oh, you want a back visor, put it in here. Oh, you want side runners, put it in here. And then all your actual lights, like your light nodes, will go into light bars. So you can actually script them. So, and then we'll go ahead and do some grill lights with it. I just have, I usually just have two parts that I usually use. It's literally just two parts. See, look. Two parts. Just put inside each other. It's really basic and uh, non laggy. And you can put it right here. Like so. Duplicate it. Put it here. And if you really want to, doing grill lights is actually really easy. You can just line it up with the center of the logo. If you select both of them, get to your top thing. Then take this, put an exterior. Take this, put an exterior. That should be in there. And then I usually, a, reason, a lot of reason I use parts is I can go in and see what color this is. See, that's that the front piece. Then I can go here, here, and then this, I can just duplicate it, and then name it Grill, so I don't get it messed up. Then I can put it in the light bar, and then I can name it, so I usually go from left to right, so this would be Grill 1, and this would be Grill 2. And then you can just duplicate this, this would be Grill. Type and grill, and then another way you can do this way clicker. You can go up here to replace dash one grill one dash two grill two. But let's make this one flash faster, like point one. Then make sure it's all anchored. Okay, make sure everything's in place, and then run. Uh oh, our lights aren't flashing. No oh, way, yes they are. They're just not colored. See, they're flashing. That looks <laughs> that looks really weird. It looks like buttons coming in and out. All right, let's make sure they're colored this time. Let's make them red. Since our grill lights, or our dash lights are blue. There you go. That's how you make the LS. Simple as that. Not even that hard. Now if you guys want to see more videos, go hit that like button down below and make sure hit the likes, the subscribe button, sorry, it's kind of late, hit the subscribe button so you can, and hit the little bell actually too, just so you don't forget to come back, watch some more videos once they get released so you can learn more on developing. Comment down below what next, what thing you want to see next on cars. Do you want to see RAM bars put in, do you want to see a speed run doing a car, what do you want, stage lighting. Want to learn how to do stage lighting next? Leave it down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, yeet.